Hey guys, welcome. It has been a while, right? It is, summer is over, I think just about for most of us. I think even college kids are heading back. If they're not, not already back, they're going back this next week. I know people in the East, maybe in Canada, I don't know how they operate, if they go back to school yet or not. But nevertheless, most people are. Most people are yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. But anyway, we're saying summer is over and we are excited and we are ready to have some fun. But, um, you know, it's hard to go away without, with, um, without routine and then come back and start routine, right? It's kind of yucky. It's kind of, um, kind of rough. Maybe for some of you, you've had a restful summer. Maybe for some of you, you've had a rocky summer. Um, we had a great summer. We had a kind of an well, amazing summer. 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 You get rocky and restful. How about? Restful? You already used that word. Relax. Be sure. I don't know if you have an R word, use an R word. Uh, I Resourceful. would say, yeah. Um, redundant. We could come up with all kinds of R words. But our point is, is that we have been, ste we've stepped away a little bit from our business or maybe not from our business, but from interacting as much with you guys. I know and I feel like everybody has stepped away a little bit from interacting as much with us. And so we want to make sure that we stay connected because here's the deal. Your computer can't work, right, unless it's plugged in or it has battery life. And everybody knows the battery life runs out, right? Our phones, I, it drives me crazy. My kids like to run their phones down to like a single percent. Like they think that they don't need to hook up to a charger until they're at three or five percent. And they're like, it's not a big deal. They operate on like 20 percent most of the time. But what do they have to do? They have to keep going back to that plug or that charger to get re-engaged, to charge back up. And I think our business is the same way, and especially the culture of our team. You cannot stay happy, connected, um, engaged. What's another word? I don't know. If you're not plugged in. And so we want to make sure that everybody's plugged in. And the way that we know to do that is by having fun. So we're going to get back to fundamentals. We're going to start right now. Um, I saw Shelly. Yes. Um, and we're going to pin her on the screen maybe here. We're going to change the view a little bit. Uh, I see Shelly right there. She don't can't have your name. Can't see your name. But um, John picked up this neat little contraption over the summer. This used to be a former ambassador's. Well, she's still an ambassador, but she doesn't use this anymore. And she has it. So we have the fun wheel. I even teased them about the wheel probably a month ago or so. Yeah. We haven't had a chance to spin it. But Shelly was our first person on our call tonight. Uh oh. Right? <laughs> and so we're going to spin the wheel for Shelly and see what Shelly's going to win something. And y'all, this is kind of funny to me because you totally cannot read anything on your screen right now. So we could make up. We could make up. Here's the thing. I want a good solid wheel of fortune spin all the way around. Don't I am do not being that. Like, I'm not being that. I want a strong, a strong. Woo! Oh, bang. Okay. Dang, this is a good one. Okay. Ten percent off your next, next purchase. purchase. Excellent. That'll work. Is if you'll screenshot the next time you purchase your Plexus products to me, I will go in and credit you in your back office that amount of money. Thank you. So you're welcome. Congratulations to you. That's so cool. So lots and lots. We want to have fun. We're going to be using this. We'll be using this again tonight. Maybe I don't know when Phil's going to decide he wants to use it. Just go wherever something random happens. Randomness. Yeah. Um, but we want to have fun. Like I told y'all um, at the beginning of the call, we. Why are you screaming, by the way? Mm. So loud. Last time we did this call, remember, or not this one, the last time we had to fight the dogs. I'm afraid the dogs are going to start barking. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. There's a lot to talk about. Yeah. Good stuff. Right. So, level set, it's all about having fun. And the way that we have fun is by being connected. Um, and what Jen and I want to make sure that we do at all times going forward through the end of the year. And this is been the same for the last five and a half years but we want to make sure we express it and that is that we are only here to have connection to help you all reach your dreams and to support your business any which way you choose to run it we'll offer our best practices 
um, because they've helped us be successful and, and um, our definition of success is going to be different than your definition of success. So um, at no point in time do we want to be, um, we're not your boss. We don't, you didn't do this to have a boss. You probably have a boss anyway. We're just here to support, to encourage, and to have fun through connection um, because we know that when we personally isolate, when we get away from our connections, that's where nothing positive happens, right? We, we gain success in every area of our life than when we have those connections. So well, we and, share mis those. and misbelief or questioning, yes. disbelief, misbelief, whatever. No, because you're going to be misguided. If, because here's the reality, right? We all love our products or we wouldn't be here. Yeah. And so, but when you take away the interaction, you take away camaraderie, you take away Oh my word, your hair. It's crazy. Um, you take away participating in um, group activities, team pages. When you start to lose that, it just starts to become like, oh, I take these great vitamins and that's about it. And what happens is then, not that your, your testimony gets watered down, but it gets watered down because you're not as excited because you're not plugged into other people who can keep you motivated, keep you inspired, keep that belief going. Um, and then life kind of gets in the way and all of a sudden you're like, why do I even do plug this? And we don't want that to happen. And how many of you participated this last Saturday in either attending or hosting your own Sip and See event? Raise your hand. If you were there, I know, see lots of faces that were on. Awesome, congratulations. I know Tanya, they hosted their own Sip and See, so congratulations to you on doing that. And I think for me, um, getting to go um, and seeing so many of our team there, and seeing our president show up kind of surprise us. Um, and just even hearing from new people, because I brought a guest and um, we had, Riley was there because his girlfriend is in the, uh, became an ambassador of Madison over the break and seeing her excitement there, um, not realizing how amazing our space was and how, being impressed by the products and seeing everything kind of outside of just us. Um, that re-engaged me and made me more excited and realized that there's so much fun around sharing these products and sharing the opportunity. And we don't want to get away from that. And it's really cute. Our pastor um, wanted to explain what fundamental. Yeah, so our message on Sunday was it's a family focus and we want to get back to the fun dimension. So I totally stole this from him on Sunday, but he had his three kids, his wife on stage with him the whole time. And they um, they started with the level one or the first fundamental of their family which is having fun together and so they each talk about what was fun for them and as a group they do things together but each person has their own definition of fun, right? and you, oh my word someone's aggressively <laughs> typing i like it that's what charles woodson bang oh, um, around um, so um they had their own definition of fun so like the son's definition of fun was doing nothing like literally like video games or anything. Being as lazy as possible. Lazy as possible. That the others was like eating, eating, their daughter was eating cheeseburgers, like loved to eat cheeseburgers. And then the other was like playing pranks um, on people, like doing little things that are sly. So different people have different definitions of fun. Our definition of fun, we did this as a family tonight. Um, our definition of fun is travel, as you all may know. Like we love to travel. We love to travel new places, try new things. We love it. But that might, might not be your definition of fun. So we, whatever your definition of fun is, um, and tying into Plexus, like fun for us is doing these different things and going on these different trips and meeting all sorts and speaking and doing these different things with different people from Plexus, and that's kind of our motivation. Uh, or going to see you all like we've done uh, over the last few years, going to different places and meeting your teams and whatnot. That's fun for us. That may not be fun for you. And staying connected to your fun because what happens is that when you take the fun out of something like we've kind of hinted to you, his and his message was really kind of funny is it makes you demental right you become mental about things you either overanalyze you get in your own head you feel isolated you have anxiety, you have anxiety or fear or depression or you start to question right what what it is that you're doing in the first place like maybe I'm not supposed to do this. So keeping the fun in things is really important. We would love to hear from a couple of people yeah. what your idea of fun is. Good, we're back. That was funny. Weird. Okay. Speaking of fun, we lost you for a minute. That's fun when the mangoes. 
have technical difficulties. And this time it wasn't my fault. Okay, so, so keep talking. So let's, um, if you want to share what your idea of fun is, especially regarding, you could, it could be Plexus related or not. If somebody is willing to share, a couple people are willing to share, we would love to hear from you. So just unmute yourself and share your idea of fun. What's fun? Hey guys. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Katie. <laughs> I just love getting together with everybody. Like, I think that is like my, I don't know, love language kind of, like being around people. I don't even care what we're doing. I just like to get together. It's always good when you have food, right? Yeah. Just getting together. Like, if there's something going on, I'm going to be there. So I love that. Oh. And you always are. And I love that. <laughs> How are you going to let Katie? So you're begging me. First one. Stop touching me with that. The first one that jumped in. And I, you know, maybe we'll let Lori see. I don't know. So let's spin the wheel for Katie. Yes. That was wrong. That sound is not fun to me. <laughs> What's it going to be? What's that it going to be? So cute. Five percent off of your next order, Katie. Woohoo! So Yay. same as what we told Shelly, just let me know. Screenshot your next order. Right. Awesome. Um, yeah. Thank hopefully, you. hopefully it's like a thousand dollar order, so we have to give you fifty bucks. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Did you just ask me if that's right? A math question? Come on. That's cute. You could be wrong. You could be wrong. Okay, Laura, you you wanted to share something. I was going to say, the hubby and I, when we first started dating, we were always going to the movies. And that's, you know, we've been married almost 21 years, and we still love going to the movies. That's that just is our one of ours, too. That's a great one. Yeah, for sure. I love that. Okay, you got to let Lori spin since you said that. Okay. Lori can spin. She's on a TV. Yes, yeah, she can. She can do this in the air. You're also <laughs> Oh, I feel like it's going to hit me or something. Oh. Also, the 5%. same as Katie, five percent off your order. I promise. There's other things that are fun on there too. Uh, getting, <laughs> getting any money back is. I hope it's a strong. Getting money right, back is the. Yes, you can. All right. Who else wants? I have something. Yeah. I'll do it. Bring it. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't get a lot of free time by myself. So what I think is fun is just uh, having somebody else's money and going shopping. <laughs> Uh, by myself without without my granddaughter around but then another thing I do I always think I like being alone but I really like uh, people might think it's crazy because she lives with me but I like taking trips with her like when we came to Houston just showing her new things um, places we haven't been and, and watching you know experiencing that with her so that's fun to me cool yeah, those are all great things I think it is fun to get to see the world through a kid's eyes always, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it really is. Awesome. Okay, I think I saw hands. Tanya, I think, had her hand up. Yep. So, um, oh, wow. Me and Amy have been together for a long time, almost 14 years now. And uh, one of our first dates was window shopping at the mall and people watching. And it's still one of the, our favorite things to do. We like to just go to the mall and get a drink. And we're the crazy people that sit on the benches and just watch everybody walk by. <laughs> Hey, that is some good cheap entertainment. There you go. Love that. We do the same thing at, at the, the airport. airport. <laughs> yeah, that's our favorite thing at the airport. Yeah. We love that's people awesome. watching. That's, that's right. Awesome. You know, and that's a great skill, too, with your plexus business, right? To be able to look at people and kind of gather, like, it just gives you a frame of reference, one, that not all people are like you, too. There's going to be a wide variety of people, so there's something for everybody on our product line, right? So that's fun. <laughs> Good job. Nora, Nora, always, Nora always tells me, Grandma, they need plexus. Or, you know, she'll look at somebody and kind of be judgmental. And she'll say, Grandma, that lady needs plexus. Yes. I'm like, oh, please don't say that now. Our youngest would do the same. When she was yes. younger, like Nora's age, same thing. That's great. So let's change the, um, because you guys have given us some great examples of fun, just in general, of things that you like to do. And Katie gave an example of something that she likes to do as a team, which is totally, um, that totally doesn't surprise me because she is always at everything, which so, so makes me happy cool. too. I love that also. But thinking about your business, maybe um, we want to challenge you tonight to think of maybe a way to institute some kind of fun 
with the team that you have. And before you go, wait a second, I don't have a team or um, I only have one customer. Or I only have one ambassador and they're not always, you know, they don't always answer me. Let's think creatively together for a few minutes of some ways that we can institute some fun in our business. Because I think if we, um, I had somebody make it, have a conversation with me this weekend and, and it was, gave me a compliment. She said, you do a really good job of balancing being interested in who I am and what I've done. And we've done some things together where you've never mentioned Plexus. And then there's been other times where you've made sure that I've known about what you're doing. She says, I have another friend that's been doing that longer as long, you know, she's known her longer than she's known me, but she goes, every conversation is, do you want to buy some Plexus? Do you want to, do you want to go to this event with me? Do you want to become an ambassador? Oh, we have this sale. And we have to be really, it was such a great reminder to me of being careful in our relationships that we don't just become the salesmen and the sales board. And so how can we, be, that doesn't really make sense. That's all right. I don't really need to laugh. Anyway, sales board. Go ahead. how can we, if we can come up with some ideas tonight of some things that would maybe be fun to institute easily in our, into our business. And I want you to not feel like you have to spend money in order to have fun too. Like Tanya just gave a great example of ways that you can have fun. Um, like Kate said, being together and just being, it doesn't matter what you do, can be fun. So let's talk about maybe y'all give us a couple of examples and we'll think too and give some examples of some ways that we could be an institute fun in our business. Let me interject. You really you want to talk about it before you, if you have a team or don't have a team, it's about you being able to have fun on your own first before you can create that culture of fun with the team. So we talked about what you like for fun. Now, how can you make your business fun? Whoever just dinged, I, I hear it. Sorry, that's me. What the heck? Well, I, I muted myself. Sorry, turn it off. Oh, it's distracting. Um, no, well, okay, so y'all know we got a dog this year. It's totally fun. And I've been able to connect. Hey, she earned her canine good citizen. She's improved so much. <laughs> she ha she's Go awesome. Yay, Pippa. It's like been like 85 days since her last escape. So we're good. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. Man. It's awesome. Um, but so like, but so many people either on my team or that I know or whatever have dogs. So like it would be really fun to have it. Like if it was the team, I could do have, bring your dog to work day where we go meet at Lazy Dog or something, right? Yeah. Or get together at the, you know, for something free, get together at the dog park and hang out with the dogs play. Like that's easy and it's fun, especially when the weather is a little less hot. Yes, that's a great idea. So I'd say December is perfect time frame. <laughs> right? I'm holding out for September. And I, love, I love that idea. And I think what it, it brings up to me too is just remembering that you you can target a lot of people, but to be okay that not everybody's going to come, right? Because just like absolutely knowing our family and what we talked about tonight, that everybody's idea of fun, there were some correlations, there were a lot of things that were not. And for our pastor's family, everybody kind of had different things, but talk, talking about pushing through. So engaging in it as a leader because you're all leaders in your own right. As a leader, sometimes you're going to, you're going to even, according Phil said, yes, do what you want to do first. But there will also be times that you might hear from your team like, hey, we all want to go to the dog park and you don't want to go to the dog park. Maybe you don't have a dog. But if they all say they want to do that, would it be beneficial to you and for your team? And would it build some culture and all that? Yes. So great idea. Maybe offering more frequent opportunities with different things as well. And also, so I just want to say, I love things that are free. Totally love that. But I think we should all remember too that we are running businesses. And so if you do spend a little money, you got to eat or you go to the movies or whatever, and it's with your team, it's a write-off. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And you sure. shouldn't be afraid to spend some money. Right. You have to spend some money sometimes to make money. That we yes, that's a very common phrase. I love Lori says on the on the group chat, borrow a dog. Totally borrow a dog. Borrow a well-behaved dog. That's not going to give you a chase, though. I would be nervous to take. Well, Pippa's behaved now, but when she was in her escape days, it would have made. It would make. 
She said dog, or dog runners anonymous, I think. <laughs> As I always say, if they don't know how good they've got it, let them go. Uh, Bill used to say that about my sweet lab, Peyton. That was yeah. awful. Anyway, that's, that's a sore subject. Anyway, who else has a good idea for instituting some fun with your team? Marietta's got her finger up. And then Taryn will call it. It's not, I mean, it, it, it was fun for me and I hope it was fun for my team. I don't, I have a small team. They're not really local. Um, and I'm trying to get consistency with their, um, their 100 PV and subscription orders and everything. So last month I tried something. I mean, cause I could, guys, I could be super silver if I, if they were consistent. I mean, it kills me. So, I offered a thing, whoever, that I would have a drawing, you know, on whoever had their subscription turned on in 100 PV. And it did help, and I did do the drawing. I was gonna try to do the drawing live on um, our Diamond Rising call, and that didn't work out uh, a few weeks ago, but it did get participation. And I noticed that the person who won actually has her subscription on <laughs> and 100, over 100 PV this right. month. So. That, I mean, you know, it's, and, and it's not a whole lot to offer a bottle of ProBio 5 or X Factor or, you know, or something that they're taking. Um, I haven't done like a bag of Slim or anything. I'm not quite there in my career yet. <laughs> I can give away a bag of Slim. But um, anyway, that was one idea I had. And I think I'm going to do it maybe every other month. I don't want to, I want to kind of change it up on them so they don't expect it. But it's kind of what I'm doing. It's great. And, it. and what you're doing, it's not so much even about a giveaway. You're doing what we talked about. You're, you're creating a culture. You're creating this environment where I'm not alone taking my products, but I'm part of something bigger, that I'm part of a group of people who are doing the exact same thing, who are participating. So oh, that's, that's always, that's, it's always bigger, guys and gals, excuse me, than just um, trying to get 100 PV and trying to get people recruited and trying to do all these business things. Successful businesses create this culture of excitement and that you're doing something bigger than yourself. And that's all you wanna create. This, people wanna jump in your boat because they feel like it's going somewhere and somewhere fun and exciting that can change my life. Yeah, I wanna hop in that boat. And that's just a small way of doing it, Marietta, so cool. I know Beverly and, and Stephanie both did that or similar contest this last month as well with their teams. And I, I had talked to Beverly, Steph and I had talked a little bit too, that it, it both may, it makes people, people that you didn't think were in, gonna interact did interact. So um, I think anytime you can do that contest and, and things, especially when there's not a whole lot of pressure, um, people can really enjoy or if it's in real attainable bites, like, I don't have to go out there and add 10 people to my team in order to get to participate. I just need to do what's typically required. So that's awesome. All right, Taryn. Can I say oh, yeah, go ahead, Beverly. Go ahead, Beverly. Well, I just, to, to, piggy, to piggyback on that. That's <laughs> a problem. Can you turn yours off, please? Sorry, we got two computers going here, and it was yeah, like I love it. I love it. I love that y'all are in the same room with two computers. We are. Two, that's awesome. <laughs> well, I came in late because I had dinner out tonight. So um, anyway, mm -hmm. I'll piggyback on that. What I I think I'm going to do this month, like uh, or not this month, but next month. I I did what Marietta did last month and it did uh, create more participation than what I had had previously but I'm just going to start doing some surprise ones you know just yeah. out of the blue uh, you know do a drawing for those who already have their 100 and so that they'll never know what it's going to happen you know just for something fun just keep people on, on the toes and uh, so they don't start expecting me to do it every month because I'm not going to do it every month um, but I think that could be a fun way to do it too just a surprise one you know, or to offer something that anyone who signs up a customer or an ambassador this weekend, it's this, you know. Mm -hmm. so. That's good. I know Terry, she's not on here tonight, but she has done, um, and Trila could attest to this, they've done fun things like, okay, it's the, while the Cowboys are playing, she loves the Cowboys, we're going to give, I think last night it was like $20 to anybody during the Cowboy game. If you sign somebody up during the Cowboy game, you get 20 bucks. So, you know. 
again, everybody has to decide obviously where you're at financially with whether or not you can do that. But if she got three ambassadors and in, in, in a matter of two hours, three hours, it'd be worth the $60, right? If they all bought welcome packs and helps them win those next prizes while they're on their boat. It's so fun. Okay. Taryn, 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 we'll let you go and then Taylor will grab you. You talking to me? Yeah, yes. yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> when what Marietta was saying, um, with the prizes, definitely doing them random, like Bev said, that is like key. I used to do that all the time and my team loved it. Actually, two days ago I was talking, like I've been catching up with all my ambassadors. And two days ago they said, When are you gonna start doing your contests again? And I don't do plex of stuff. Yeah. I'd like go to TJ Maxx and buy like a bunch of $5 items. And that is like so much more fun a good than idea. a bottle of ProBio. Agreed. Uh, you're looking, stuff. yeah. Jen's the queen of the whatever Ross, Matt, TJ Maxx, crap, whatever you call it. It's like <laughs> the cutest crap. things and like so tchotchkes and y'all like great them. Prices. That's great. But it's really fun to get three of those things in the mail. You know, yes. so. we love happy yes. mail. Happy mail makes us happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Truly, you were going to say something? Yes, sorry. Um, we are doing a book club. Fun for me is reading. I know that's kind of nerdy and a lot of people don't like that, but I do. And, and so we're going to do the Girl, Wash Your Face um, book club. And so I have um, purchased five of the books. And for everybody who um, signs a new ambassador or customer this month, gets a free book. To wow! Join the book club. So that's, that's, that's very cool. Very cool. So that's Love double. It. That's fun, and it's productive, which is like the ideal thing, right? In our little world. Did y'all see the, good book. the companion book that Chris McCall and I are writing together? Boy, wash your nuts. You know, no. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. I love all the facial expressions. Oh. <laughs> so Stephanie and Beverly want to slap your face. Marietta is cracking up. Like, this is awesome. <laughs> Tree looks about to pass out. You're literally, I'm so sorry. Who has the best I'm facial so expression sorry. right now? Who's who's laughing the hardest? Stephanie covered her face like this immediately. All like right. she was so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun for me by the way mm. you get five what is this five oh. bro brochures i'm gonna get to mail you a stack of brochures in the mail that's so fun maybe not but maybe you'll get something fun in there with those brochures all right that's Sorry if I offended anyone. Chris he McCall came not, out with the title. This is the problem. He's really not sorry. That's what y'all know. He's just. Here's the secret. Here's something you know about Bill. I tell jokes to make myself laugh. I don't really care what anyone else does. It's really for my own entertainment. So. Seriously. Yeah, like he true. can make himself giggle to the point where he like has no voice because he thinks, and I'm like, it's not funny. No one is laughing. So. I apologize. Okay. Again. Okay. Anybody else have any ideas that they want to share? And then I'm going to share. Okay. Everybody's good. Okay. So it's starting in September. We're going to get through August and really make sure that we are, um, you know, just kind of resetting again. Part of fundamental is, um, taking your mind and headspace and kind of resetting like, Taryn has had like hardly any furniture unless she's bought like stuff from the I don't even know what they've been living on. So like she has a valid excuse, but we all probably could go back and look at our lives in the last 90 days and go this, this, and this, this has been off. And so reshifting, resetting, I think this last weekend, for those of you who were able to participate um, with the Sip and See started to help do that. We hope that tonight kind of remind you to do that. Getting back to the fundamentals of your business is basically two things. It's sharing the products and sharing the opportunity. And we just want to remind you to have fun while you're doing it because that's going to be the biggest attractor one to the people that are watching you live your life out loud um, that haven't tried Plexus and the people that have already said yes to you that maybe be out there, they're out there like, you're like, I know you're there. Where are you? Um, the biggest attractor to them will be engaging in some fun again with you 
as it relates to plexus. So we are going to be um, doing a fun, fun bingo contest in September for all of you to participate in, all of your team members to participate in. We will have more details coming out in the next week or so um, so that you're ready for that. But that will be a way so that people can participate. There will be some surprise giveaways during it. There will be some earned surprise, earned prizes during that and just some ways to stay engaged throughout the month. Um, because we know that engagement, like Katie said, the very first thing that Katie said and wasn't planned, but the number one way for most of us to have fun in this business is to stay connected at some level. So um, inviting somebody to this, to this call next week that's on your team or inviting your whole team, making sure you get more than one person. But just, to, just to, if we had one, each of us bring one person to this call, we would have twice as many people and we'd have twice as much fun. So we wanna do that next week. We promise that we're, we're gonna be a little more regimented with our schedule and you'll know what's coming up. So be watching for that on the team page. We have the, just in terms of announcements, there's a lot going on on Team All In that we are all um, encouraged to participate in. The seven day challenge is going on right now. Today was day one. It's really not too late if you talk to somebody tomorrow to get them involved. There's so much good information and so many great live testimonies that take take place on that page. Even if you gave somebody a three day and said, hey, I know you don't have seven days or you can't afford seven days, but just hang out in this group and watch and learn. Do that. That's fine. Um, this Thursday night, we're going to have a back to school, back to basics event on the Plexus Health and Happiness community page. So that's our large team page, support page. If you're not on there and you don't have customers or ambassadors on there, get involved on that page so that we can be more helpful together. That's going to be a great event that will have live testimonies as well. And that's being headed up by Lauren Darbro. And then um, in September, September 5th, um, there was an announcement today on Team All In. I will go ahead and put all the details on the Dream Makers page. But there is a great triple threat weight challenge. And so all those details will be there for you to, again, have participants. If, girl, if you're like me and I've got to get ready and we got Hawaii on by September 19th, I'm going to be participating in that group as well as a challenger, um, not to win prizes, but to take the accountability, y'all, is awesome. Um, so if you want to participate, I want to encourage you to participate that way. There's only a couple more days. I know we have some super rock stars that have either earned the cruise or that are working towards the cruise. And so we are cheering you on. Um, Trila, congratulations. I think you're the only person I see on here that has earned so far that uh, I know There's some that. people who are close, right? There's some people that are super close. Yeah, and there's still plenty of spots mm -hmm. still available. So don't feel like you're gonna like miss out on getting it. Uh, push, 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 because the worst thing that happens is you don't get it, but you get more business because you pushed hard. Mm -hmm. The best thing is, yeah, you get a nice cruise to uh, Key West and uh, have a fun event to go to. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we'll be cheering those of you that are doing that. And don't let that be a deterrent to not rent work your business. And yeah. you know, that's a really easy mind trick again when you're not when you think you're gonna miss out on the fun where you shut down. Don't do that because you'll just shortchange yourself and shortchange your future, which is not not fair and not fun at all. Yeah. Um anything else, Crede? I know you're here. Yeah, we've always want to uh, honor our upline and so Crede's here and if you've got something you want to share or say, we want to give you the, uh, yeah. the floor to do so. Hey guys, you're, can you hear me? Yes. Can hear you? yes. Okay, you guys are just so inspiring. I wanted to tell you, I mean, thanks for bringing back the fun. I know it's been kind of a long, slow summer, but Fall is coming and the holidays are coming and it's going to be our busiest time of year. And you guys, I just thank you so much for being the awesome leaders that you are and just inspiring people and encouraging people. And you're just, you're so appreciated. Well, thank, thank you. you. So we love you. We love you. Thanks for being here and supporting everyone too, because we, and again, we just, that's what we all want. As your leaders, we want to be here to support you, but it's not fun if y'all don't show up, right? It's not fun if your team doesn't show up. We want, we want the more the merrier. So um, lots and lots of great, great things coming. Who got a survey in the um, email from Plexus this last weekend? Anybody? Hands raised. If you did, if you didn't, I'm thinking you might. 
um, you know, Phil, that's got Phil thinking that there's something coming. Well, yeah. Who got a survey regarding um, Accelerator? Yeah. 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 They're definitely changing it. It's definitely changing. I, mean, yeah, I got Joy M is what I got. So. Okay. Interesting. You got too. You got, okay. All right. So we will see. Who knows? Um, stay tuned. We'll, um, we're hoping to have a guest next week. We're keeping that a surprise. Keep you excited and engaged. But we'll let you know really soon. Because for us, fun is surprises. We like surprises. Mm, yeah. What is <laughs> Jazz hands. <laughs> Adorable. Just keep your jokes to yourself. Okay. Never. Yes. All right. Anybody have anything else they want before we go? We good? All right. Well, it's great, great, great to see you guys. We love you. Um, we're excited to have some fun going forward the rest of the year. Uh, let's see. Two more announcements real quick. We'll be in Atlanta this weekend. Oh. So if anyone has team that's close and wants us to connect with them, we might have some time in the evenings uh, this weekend. And then we'll be traveling to Cleveland uh, in October. So same thing. Uh, we might have a little time if you've got any teammates uh, in the Northeast Ohio area. So. And, or if you don't want Phil to tell bad jokes to them and you keep us away it's from them. Then. <laughs> I have any bad jokes. Yeah, that you, was no, just we're not starting that. No. Silly joke. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. All right. Come back to Kansas. I know we need to do that. We need we need to get uh, back on the back on the road again. I got plenty, we got plenty of miles. We can do it. So yeah. you just, the requirement is you have to get a, an event together with some people to show up so we can come love on some people, right? Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Those of you who won, congratulations. Make sure you reach out to me. Those of you who had the percentages once you place your next order, whenever it is this month or next, um, with a screenshot and we'll do that for you. Have a great night, Anne. Go Plexus. Bye, everybody. Bye.